Hello everybody, it's Mikey. I'm headed into Goodwill today. I'm a full-time reseller and YouTuber. I go into thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets. I buy stuff online and I flip it online. eBay, Poshmark, Macari, whatnot, all of the above. I've been doing it about five years. I bring you along, I tell you what I like, I tell you what I don't, and I tell a few jokes. So without further ado, let's go inside, see what we can do. We're on the Goodwill of Las Vegas Boulevard, the flagship store. We came to the grand opening, we were invited by Goodwill. So let's get it going. Let's see what we can got. Let's see what we can find today. The shoes are looking very light, friends. Very, very light. Women's shoes, men's shoes. Look at how big this store is going. It's their second biggest location. So let's get started. All right, friends. So we're looking in the jungle. In the jungle here, there's a fishing pole. A Nike golf bag. A Nike's a really good golf bag to pick up, but it's kind of beat up. But I see something under here. Let's see what we got. Oh. Looks to be, I've never seen actually this Marlboro piece of equipment. Is this a, like a huge duffel bag backpack right here? Single shoulder sling. So you can load up cartons and cartons of cigarettes. This sounds pretty cool. It's in decent condition. I'll probably check out the comps, but Marlboro stuff actually usually does pretty well. Uh, yeah, people like it. It's a big brand. There used to be a lot of smokers back in the day, so it's so interesting. Like I said, I've never seen the, the single sling canvas tote from Marlboro. But I'm pretty excited, so yeah, let's throw it in the cart and see what else we can do. Bag it! Ooh, not $2. This is a Dallas Stars vintage puck right here. I think I could make a couple bucks on it on Whatnot, possibly. I sell it on my friend's Whatnot. American Arbitrage sells a lot of stuff like this. Things from the bins. So we're just going to put it in the cart. and Maybe we'll put it in the think about it pile. So, yeah, think about it. Super Court, my super wife. She's doing a lot better on the ankle. We've actually been back to exercising since there's about probably about two months where she really couldn't do much and i didn't do much i'm gonna check these out so man two months it wasn't that good but i gotta say we've been riding our bikes the past couple weeks we're losing some weight we're feeling so great so that's the that's the wifey update now there'll be some more updates later we're gonna bring you along and let you know what's going down Is that my little pony? This thing have a thing? Oh, it is my little pony. Made by Fab. It's a tiny lunch cooler. It's almost one of those whatnot items too that I could put on with uh, the arbitrages, but I'm just not confident in that one at the $2. Maybe because it's my little pony, it doesn't excite me. Could be a sad pass up, but this lunch cooler bag. Oh, that's part of a bigger piece. We're gonna be passing up the lunch cooler My Little Pony bag. All right, friends, it's like, ooh, thermometer, eight bucks. It looks like it's gonna be, it's empty, friends. That's why they gotta tape these, protect these, and all that kind of stuff. So much, so much thievery going down here in the Goodwill. It's a shame, but that's the cost of doing business, and hey, they get it for free, so. They're not sweating it too hard. Hopefully they just needed it. We're working our way down. We've got a couple things in the in the bag, which is always nice. Get it going. Oh, some fix-a-flat bikes only, friends. I was just talking about bicycling and whew, $5. This thing actually looks a little old. You're like, does it work? Does it not? You only get one shot. Oh no, it's gonna be another one. We're gonna we're gonna investigate this thing. And I gotta have juice in there. But I do have little CO2 cartridges that actually pump air into it, but I don't have any sealant that I bring with me. I have to fill that at home because mountain bike tires get thorns in them all the time. And yeah, it's no fun when you gotta flat out on the trail. So yeah, we're just gonna see, make sure it's not too old. Ooh, now we're in some glasswares here. I made it to the cool trinkets and stuff like that. I like to sell on whatnot, but uh, 2013 New York Giants. It looks like almost like a crock pot top, but I don't quite think it is. Is this Chicken Little? Chicken somebody? Oh, 
It's taped. It's suspicious. Ooh, I'm not sure, friends. But the scotch tape has me worried. I can't really see who that is. I could un... I think we're just gonna pass him. This is Buddy, too. Ooh, is this like a coffee? Fancy coffee cup? What's this do? Tea? Did you put tea in there? What is this? Beauty do. Oh, it's got holes at the bottom, too? Chantel. Huh. I don't know. Let's get up into here. Let's check out this chicken. Oh, yeah. It looks like cheap, cheap China gear. No offense to China. They make lots of gear, but we're going to pass them. Oh, look at this. So cute right here. It's not marked. It's like a toothpick holder, a green olive toothpick holder for your martini olives, obviously. That's pretty cool for four bucks, though. I don't know what it resells for in Friends. You know, I'm very picky. The stuff I buy here, I actually got to sell. So, yeah, we're going to pass it. So, look at this Camelback. How much is this going to be? Camelback is great biking stuff. Three dollars. This thing brand new, but just dirty AF. Unfortunate. Let me see. Oh no, the plastic cover is still on there. So, uh, honestly, we live in the desert. It's super hot. We can never have enough of these. So, for three dollars, I'll probably just keep this at home. So, bag in the Camelback. Great, great brand. All right, friends. Now we're in the glassy glass section. So let's see what we have. This thing's just kind of funky. It's a bluebell candle. Is that what it is? Yeah. Right, soy wax. Thank you. I think that's a candle. Oh, there's a fun pumpkin candle. Very cute. I can dig the pumpkin candle. Let's see these little gift boxes. Interesting. Never found my glassy baby yet. Thrifting Vegas. Tiffany at Thrifting Vegas shopped here recently in one of her videos I saw and she's always finding some glassy baby that's where I even learned about glassy baby it out at so thanks Tiffany and let's see what we can do what we can find looking for stuff to resell online we got to pay some bills so well, little kissers right there I'm looking for markings on the bottom this one's at least made in Taiwan. The ROC 1989. Coming in at $5. What do you think? Bypass? I don't think it's enough for me. A little angel playing a trumpet. A little wooden jewelry box with a clear heart. Yeah, I, I would love to heart something. And bring it home. But not yet. We got a bunny rabbit. I think this is a half a gourd. Is that half a gourd? Oh, it's a ceramic gourd. Oh, four or five. Fun numbers. Six dollars. Six dollars. G dubs, why you gotta do me like that, man? I'm out here trying to give you some props and you're stinging for six dollars on one of those. So, this is actually pretty cool here. What is this? A piano little thing? All right, friends, you know I always like to turn the camera on myself and have some fun. Look at this thing. Nice instrument. I think I gotta get it just, just to bag it, to bag it. It might be the only musical instrument I can play. It's pretty exciting. All right. Well, let's see what else we can roll, see what else we can find, put it in the bag, get to skedaddling. This is what we got going on, so I think I'm gonna head over to another Goodwill. And over here, friends. Herschel. This is a good looking bag right here. I've got a quite a few to Herschel's. I like them myself. Oh, only eight dollars. Put it in the bag. Check that out. Oh, we do have some possible condition issues right here, friends. We're going to check into that, so possible bag. But let's keep looking, and then we'll decide after. Oh, friends, we're in Goodwill Heaven here. There's so much stuff. Look at all this. Volcano in a box. What? Brr, watch out. Volcano in a box. Uh, we got some tea from Disney. Who's that character? Right there. Pretty cool, I bet you this might even have some value, but I'm not gonna bet you so much I'm gonna keep it. Old fishing gear, they got four lures in here, eight bucks. 
and this thing was 25 bucks way back when so fishing stuff can do pretty good it's got some other little individual flies yeah right in there so we're gonna bag it for sure put it in the bag friends kim k who that's not kim kardashian right there no way that's kim kardashian like pre all the surgery what's that say right there 2010 kim kardashian what friends not to spoil it but it's 2023 and i don't think she looks like that anymore really appreciate y'all hanging out with me i have thrifting videos i go garage selling i try to bring you a wide variety i show some of the awesome causes in las vegas so i really hope you enjoy all that hit the subscribe button show your support how you doing hey how you doing good good How's the wife? good hello. i will enjoying the benefits of the discounts today oh, and stuff yeah. oh yes <laughs> you have a good one thank you all right oh boy Crystal Hawk friends, no can do. Let's see what else we got here. All their little stuff. Oh, controlled bubble paperweight friends. You know I love a paperweight. Where is this made at? It's got a number on it. I really don't like the apples, but I need to check that out further. $5.99. It's also got some salt and pepper shakers that I'm not too happy about. Some hand painted MCM. All right. Oh, it's controlled bubble. Oh, it's a Lennox Apple paperweight. Maybe we'll bag that, friends. It looks pretty new, pretty nice. Yeah, let's put it in there. Probably put that on the whatnot. All right, that paperweight's not the best seller here, but I can probably sell a whatnot, get something out of it. What are these right here? Are these worth it or not? That's the question, friends. And I think, knowing what I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bag them. We'll probably sell these on whatnot too. I think they're, they're just pretty cool. They're nice the design, so bag it. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we have down here, friends. What well, can we bag? Sell online. Oh. It really looks like the Vineyard Vines. We were just at Vineyard Vines store, outlet store in the mall yesterday. And I gotta say, we had fantastic service. We got water after purchase. It was good. Oh, look at that. Scary, scary. This thing looks real. $5.99. Must be a big lots thing. Scary. Scary. Friends, down below in my description, I have lots of links to different things, affiliate links that I believe in, companies I have partnerships with, so check that out down below. Also have my Poshmark link and my eBay link, that's in my YouTube banner on the channel page. So check those out, you can find a lot of the stuff I find here on eBay, and if you like it that much, just email me, take a chance, maybe I still got it, maybe I don't, but send the email anyways. I'm just scoring today. Hopefully this works good. I mean, I don't really know how to test it, but I think they sell for like 50 to 100 something dollars. Amazing, amazing, amazing. But you can find these little things. Goodwill can't just look them all up. So at this price for this one, I'm just gonna pick this one up too. Yeah, another clear comp. Awesome, awesome. Bag both of them. We're going to leave the backpack. It just doesn't have straps, so it's not working properly. As cool as it is, we got some fishing gear. We got some more Lucite grapes over here. We also bagged those two little things. Uh, technology. I just look it up. It's easy to look up, man. Sometimes you won't even believe what it goes for. So I recommend just checking it out. You never know what it's going to be. So, yeah, let's get going. Pick and move. Pick and move. All right. This one smells like a giant Scentsy candle's going off. It smells kind of good in here. Very suspicious for a thrift store to be smelling good, friends. We're on high alert, high alert. I think there's some men's, some hards. This is a pretty big store too, here in Las Vegas. We're getting ready soon to head to Arizona to speak at Camp List perfectly. I can't wait to go down there. Some of you in the comments have said you'll be there. Looking forward to seeing you. If you see me, say hi, Mikey. Some of the fanciest looking wine trays. They want $40 for it, but it's like Chablis right there. And look, it's a dinner set. 
on the other side is some uh, vintage port. Pretty cool. Really cool if you're into wine and TV dinners. So, yeah. All right, and usually when I come here, I'll give the toys a quick glance. If I can see anything new in the box, anything that looks old or interesting, like if this had a bunch of Skylanders in there, which it might. This thing's super heavy. I really these Skylanders aren't even worth that much. Oh, but double-sided for 10? I don't know. Yeah, after checking out the Skylander comps, I'm just gonna do a pass on that. One of them could be valuable. I don't know exactly. I don't think so. Most of them sell for like four bucks at the most, if you're lucky. 7,000 enlisted and like less than 800 sold. Now you'd have to dive deep really in there to see if any of them are valuable, but I'm just not gonna spend the time. So we're just gonna pass on the Skylanders. Oh, I saw a 17 piece bucket, friends. I was so excited. I was like, is this the Colonel? I am so hungry. I've been trying to eat better and exercise more. And you know what that does? That just makes one hungry Mikey. Give me the chicken. Now this is some medical equipment. I don't know what's going on here. I don't even know what those juices are. Are they human or are they not? But you can get this interesting, very dirty, hopefully sanitized, friends. If you go to Sandy Thrift, they sanitize everything. I don't know about Goodwill, but this thing is very interesting. Oh, and very disgusting at the same time. I don't know anything about this stuff, but I mean, this thing it could be a thousand dollar machine, but I don't really know, nor do I want to take a chance, but it's disgustingly interesting. All right, friends, we've got a fresh new rack headed out, so let's go see if we can fight anyone else off. Now we got to, we'll battle them. I'm kickboxing trained. If you saw my last video, I can kickbox versus nobody, so. I think we'll probably pop all of these right here, friends. Cowboy's a very good brand. Only two dollars. We're definitely gonna bag that. We'll check out the deets on the others. Right, let's see what else we can find. I thought they were looking for this stuff, but they weren't. Gold glass. How you doing? Most excellent. Thank you very much for asking. Uh-huh, no, no. I'm waiting for to see what else you got back there. <laughs> Somebody, you know, you know me. Oh, Lily Pulitzer. I haven't got some Lily in a while, but you know I love those flamingos. So put that one in the bag for the personal sipping margaritas. Oh, that's a Yeti one. Yeti is dollars. Oh no, it's broken. Probably still people would buy it like that, but I'm not. I'm not going to. That's a shame. 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 I better check my Lily. Let's see if there's any other treasures in here. There's like a vintage coffee pot thing. I'm definitely not into those. I'm into money. I mean, if they're worth money and I knew that, I'd pick them up. They might be, and I might feel like a fool. What is a horseshoe turned upside down? It's a Lulu. So there's a weird funky zipper. No, it's not a zipper. It's just breathable. Friends, I don't find Lululemon that often. It does have some wear down there, but I think I'll probably just do a Google lens on it real quick. Some kind of funky short things. I don't know what's up with Lululemon, but I know it's good. Six dollars and probably it's gonna be worth it. So yeah. Put it in the bag. All right, folks, I was ready to give up because they just weren't bringing stuff out. The best time to really look for stuff is when they're bringing it out. Because that's when it's not even on the shelves yet. So let's see what they got over here. Let's see if we can see anything from here. There's definitely some other pickers looking. Let's see, it's coming this way. Friends, I'm inside Goodwill right now, and I've hit the jackpot. I've been looking all day, looking all day, and finally, finally I've scored. Wait till you see what's going. We're gonna make hundreds. All right, I picked this up. It's for some kind of guitar, and they put out a bunch of other stuff right here. I think it's also gonna be for guitars, so we're gonna bag a whole bunch of this. We'll check it out. 
but I'm pretty sure some of it's going to be decent. Exactly, no. You don't know. <laughs> I don't. I think it's maybe for some guitar stuff. Oh, I don't okay, know. I just had one of the guys buy bought one of these, and he was saying it was a guitar, something with a guitar, guitar pedal or something like that. I know. I was so. I didn't see it. I I was looking around. And I saw him grab it. I was like, son of a gun. I didn't get them all. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get them all. Wow, what an incredible shopping trip. Thank you all so much for coming along. Easily over $700 worth of stuff I'll be selling. I can't wait to get it listed. It's all good quality stuff. Some days are hits and some days are misses. Today was definitely a jackpot day. It's the things that keep you going, keep you excited to go out there. I mean, in just one second, my fortunes turned so quickly when I found all those guitar pedal stuff. So just pays to be out there, to be consistent, to keep on going out there. Now, if you followed this far along, I just got one thing to ask for you. Tell a friend about Mikey Bags, share the YouTube videos, and spread some joy. So that's going to be another one in the bag. Till next time, we out. Mm -hmm.